will be secured to create an even firmer berthing of Cygnus to the space station. In this view, you can see Cygnus as it slowly moves towards the Unity module. Again, teams on the ground are controlling the robotic arm. That handover was completed after Suichi Noguchi captured Cygnus this morning at 3.30 a.m. Central Time, 4.38 a.m. Eastern Time. We're in a brief expected handover period between our satellites, but we'll regain communications and video shortly. As a reminder, you can submit your questions to us this morning using the hashtag AskNASA. Cygnus continuing to inch closer toward the Unity module of the International Space Station. As you can see here, teams on the ground are using the Canada arm to move Cygnus in very small movements in order to ensure safe alignment. Once Cygnus does make contact with the Unity module, it will be attached using four latches. Then an additional 16 bolts will be secured to create an even firmer berthing of Cygnus to the space station.
everything continues to move smoothly this morning as Cygnus is maneuvered toward the Earth facing module of the Earth facing side of the Unity module, where Cygnus will be bolted and secure and remain until late May. As you can see in these views, the International Space Station is approaching the Terminator line, which is the line between orbital sunrise and sunset. Hecka. Yeah, with you on two. Hey, just closing this out and a quick big picture question for you. The cable that I routed at the very beginning that went uh, from the Reba and then up and over the left shoulder, that should have a P1 uh, connector on the end of it, correct? I'm checking. Yeah, Kate, that's right. It's a P1 uh, label there. Okay, and where does that plug into? And give us just a second. No problem. Okay, Kate, uh, so that cable, you're not expected to connect it today. However, we were looking at, there's a cable on the other side of the EMU that's sort of sticking out that should be routed under the TMG. That's where it'll eventually be connected. Okay, copy, I will route that under the TMG just like I routed the other cables. Um, and that is making a lot more sense to me now, thank you. You're welcome. Those words between Capcom Neil Nagata and NASA astronaut Kate Rubens as she prepares spacesuits for upcoming spacewalk on Wednesday. Correction, that spacewalk will take place on Sunday.
Cygnus is continuing to be maneuvered toward the Earth-facing module of Unity. Teams on the ground are using the Canada Arm 2 in order to maneuver Cygnus into place. And Station Houston on two for all star travelers within the sound of my voice. We are robotically pushing in within two feet, so no exercise. Okay, all the space travelers copy. Copy. I love it, Neil. Those words from Capcom Neil Nagata letting the crew know that they've entered the no exercise period. There are currently seven humans living aboard the space station and astronauts need to work out for about two hours per day to prevent bone and muscle loss in the microgravity environment of space. However, while the Canada Arm 2 is attached to the Cygnus vehicle and teams are performing alignment checks in preparation for berthing, there is no exercise taking place to avoid any vibrations in the Canada Arm 2 and keep the vehicle properly aligned. Cygnus is now within two feet of the Unity module. The International Space Station is currently flying 271 miles over the Tasman Sea and is approaching New Zealand.
Once Cygnus is berthed to the Unity module today, it will remain attached to the space station until late May. Once it departs the space station, Cygnus will remain in orbit for a couple of weeks to complete secondary science objectives before harmlessly burning up in the Earth's atmosphere upon re-entry. Once Cygnus makes contact with the Unity module, it will be attached using four latches and then an additional 16 bolts will be secured to create an even firmer berthing of Cygnus to the space station. Control on T for ham radio. Was on too. Go ahead. It's powered up. Um, you should be ready for ground commanding. Okay, Shannon, thanks for that information. We wanted to let you know that based on the commanding we're doing and the data we're going to see, we may not have to do the power down activity later on your timeline at 15.05, so let's talk before you do that. Copy. We'll do
Okay, he's here. Lock looks good. I took a ton of photos. I can take you on a quick video survey here, and then I'll put tools away. Hey, Kate. Yeah, we'll take the survey. Thanks for offering. And also, uh, for your timeline, uh, the next activity, it's a flexible activity for LEPA. There's a CTV, the HECA hardware bag. You don't need to restore that to Node 2 and then get it back out for the next one. I just wanted you to, to be, a, be aware that you're going to be using the same CTV. The next milestone we'll be looking toward this morning is confirmation that Cygnus is in the ready to latch position. Once Cygnus is birthed to the Unity module today, it will remain attached until late May. Later today, the crew will begin outfitting the space between the vehicle and station and begin preparations to open the hatch. Once the hatch is open, they'll work to unload the, near, the four tons of crew supplies, science investigations, spacewalking equipment, vehicle hardware, computer resources, and Russian hardware aboard Cygnus. And uh, airlock Houston on two. If you go back to uh, back behind the helmet, there's a flap on the TMG down on the. It looks like to me, yeah, right there. The flap needs to run inboard of the cables. It is, it is inboard of the cables. The cables tuck up right underneath it. The cables are here, and then flap is inboard of it. Sorry, I need three hands for this. Is that what you guys are calling? So cables are outboard, flap is inboard. Hang on a second, Kate. Okay, so Kate, the idea here is that the cables shouldn't be contained by the corner flap. Okay, gotcha. So the flap is forward, uh, not aft of the cables. We were using inboard and outboard for the um, Velcro straps, and I was considering that to mean uh, towards the right and the left arms of the suit. So you want that flap forward towards the front of the helmet. Yeah, uh, that's a good read back and the idea is the same on the other side, on the other corner flap. The space station is currently flying 264 statute miles. There, the space station is approaching the Cook Islands. I made it so. Okay, great. Thank you so much.
the Cygnus vehicle that you see on your screen here began its journey to the space station two days ago on February 20th when it launched from the Wallops Flight Facility in Wallops, Virginia. Earlier this morning, Cygnus was captured by Japanese Aerospace Exploration Agency Suichi Noguchi. That's, that's for the forward EDA 3009, not the one I've been working on 3015. Yes, that's correct. Okay, copy. That capture took place at 3.38 a.m. Central Time, 4.38 a.m. Eastern Time, while the space station was flying over Oman. The next milestone we'll look toward this morning will be confirmation that Cygnus is in the ready to latch position. Once Cygnus makes contact with the Unity module this morning, it will be attached using four latches. Then an additional 16 bolts will be secured, creating an even firmer berthing of Cygnus to the space station.
The common berthing mechanism is now aligned in the ready to latch position. From here, we'll move into first stage capture, then second stage capture, and then those 16 bolts we've discussed will be driven to create an even firmer berthing of Cygnus to the space station. Once Cygnus is birthed to the Unity module today, it will remain attached until late May. Hey, uh, Airlock Houston on two, uh, we didn't catch a serial number on that part. We just want to make sure that it was 1,004. I was going off of the stone note, which says 1,008. I've got 1,008 here. Okay, stand by, Kate. Okay. Do you want me to go find 1004? Yeah, sorry about that. We all seriously went to the activity. All of our stone notes say 1004. Sorry, we're trying to figure out, too, why yours says 1008. So, but yeah, we'll, we need 1004. Okay, sounds good. We've received confirmation that first stage capture of the vehicle is now complete and robotics flight controllers have configured the Canada Arm 2 into its limp mode, meaning it won't be imparting any forces onto the vehicle as the next stages of capture are completed. I didn't really see what was on your iPad, but we're, we're certainly checking it. 
Okay, so this one doesn't need on my iPad, but my iPad might be in the Twilight Zone. I don't know. I was just following instructions. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's that's cool and everything. It was just it was lucky that we didn't happen to see it. You know, the the HD cameras spoil us. You know, we got to use these SD ones. Just wait till you see this HD camera on the suit. It's gonna be awesome. Oh yeah, we are totally excited about that. Second stage capture is now in work. Once second stage capture is completed, 16 bolts will be secured, creating a firm berthing of Cygnus to the space station. The International Space Station is currently flying 261 statute miles above. It's approaching Baja, California and the very southern coast of California.
We now have confirmation that Cygnus second stage capture is complete and Cygnus is structurally attached to the space station. Second stage capture was completed at 6.16 a.m. Central Time, 7.16 a.m. Eastern Time, two hours and 38 minutes after capture. Second stage capture was completed as the station was crossing the California-Arizona border. Next up, we'll look to Cygnus having 16 bolts being driven in order to secure it even further to the space station. Once Cygnus is birthed to the Unity module, it will remain attached until late May of 2021. The space station is currently flying 262 miles over northwest Nebraska. Second stage capture of Cygnus was completed this morning at 6.16 a.m. Central Time, 7.17 a.m. 7.16 a.m. Eastern Time, as the station was flying over the California-Arizona border. Now that Cygnus is attached to the space station, the crew will begin accessing its cargo later this afternoon. Cygnus's journey began to space two days ago on February 20th when it launched from the Wallops Flight Facility in Wallops, Virginia. Cygnus was captured earlier this morning by Japanese Aerospace Exploration Agency's Soichi Noguchi with NASA astronaut Mike Hopkins backing him up. Cygnus was captured at 3.38 a.m. Central Time, 4.38 a.m. Eastern Time while the station was flying over Oman. Again, berthing of Cygnus to the station's Unity module was completed at 6.16 a.m. Central Time, 7.16 a.m. Eastern Time, and Cygnus will remain attached to the station until May 2021. With a successful capture and berthing of Cygnus this morning, that will wrap up our coverage for today. However, there are additional mission operations upcoming. Later today, you can tune in for a Mars 2020 briefing following Perseverance's successful landing on Mars this past Thursday, February 18th. NASA TV coverage will begin at 1 p.m. Central Time, 2 p.m. Eastern Time. 
Additionally, this Wednesday, February 24th, we'll have a spacewalk briefing in preparation for two upcoming spacewalks set to take place Sunday, February 28th and Friday, March 5th. Briefing coverage will begin at 1 p.m. Central Time, 2 p.m. Eastern Time this Wednesday. Thanks for joining us for today's capture and berthing coverage of Northrop Grumman's Cygnus spacecraft to the International Space Station. Signing off for now, this is Mission Control Houston.